ready to fly. Yeah! Welcome to Mace RC Foam Fires. It's me, Mr. Marshall. I got Jack here. And uh, it's been a while, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But he's been nonstop creating, and um, I think you probably went through how many designs have you probably went through from the what do we call it the Lemma Range, Orange Range, Lemma Range, till now. Probably like six. Yeah, so I mean six ideas, six ideas to where he's doing bigger quadcopters to minis to to you name it, um, and he brought this idea to the table first before we get to the next one. Um, brought this to the table first, which I thought was really, really cool. Talk yeah. about it. So, I started out with it 3D printing, and th I came up with this like about a month ago, and it's just a folding quad. It folds pretty well. Yeah, the mechanism worked out perfect. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there, we decided to change up the box, right? Yeah, we didn't like how thick it was. Yeah, um, which was perfect. So we actually had something physical in front of us to do. So then you went to what you have right now. And this is still in prototype form, right? Yeah, so it's just a prototype right now. We found out that you can't close it because of the zip ties. And so we're just going to cut away portion, portions. And uh, But I say it works out pretty well. Cool. Yeah, I think the one thing that we were, that we were interested in was, is it going to do well, you know, with all this front, you know, front, front body, I guess, and it still holds the CG really nice. And you designed it around to fit a bunch of different stuff, right? So the Mobius to the GoPro, right? Yeah. So it's just um, tall enough to fit a GoPro. Perfect. So you see that a GoPro will slide right in there, and he's got his got his markings there too. So he's got all his cool little honeycomb stuff and right now we have it as the Vespula but we're your game for changing it, right? Yep. We're so looking for a new name. Looking for a new name. So if you have any suggestions for Jack's quad, um, he likes to stay around with the Hornet name. So something that we can do with around that, right? Yeah. Cool. Like wasp, Hornet, anything like that. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then, so here's the kind of the main goal, right? You want to get in on the business part of Mesa, and you want to leave your mark on before you move to high school. And you're more of the multi-rotor guy, which is, which is huge. We don't have a whole lot of multi-rotor designers um, in the class as of today. And uh, we don't have any multi-rotors that we sell with you guys' business either. So you want to try to create something that potentially could go out to our viewers to buy, right? Yes. And so we're close. So this is the Maiden, and uh, Jack's going to show off some of the Maiden flights here in a, a little bit and see how this thing performs, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So timetable now, you only got like a month and a half. You think you're going to get this done? Yes. Pretty, pretty easy? Yes. Sweet. So all the construction of this is made out of MDF. This is just wood for right now. I think that's what we'll stay with, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Cool? Cool. All right, let's go fly this thing. Talk about how you wanted to do the, the angles. You said you wanted to kind of... Yeah, so I just wanted to see, test different flight modes with different angles that the arms can go so it's like a Yeah. As well as, I think it would be kind of a good idea too, is if you have more weight up here, you can actually shift the, the arms a little more forward to help out with the lift, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
So we'll, we'll, what we'll try now is uh, maybe something like, or we can go like full open and then slip it a little more closed in the back. Yeah, we can try that. Want to try that? inside of a um, you know, carrying case or anything like that for you guys. You know what I really like? The fact that you have a lot of room in here so you can put whatever you want in there. Bigger battery to uh, bigger ESCs, more compartments. Um, and what we also feel with the mission is that we're using the, um, the Atsu Hobbies uh, Cobras, the 2204s, um, along with just the regular KK2 board with low settings on all the PI games. For, because we're using the, uh, what are we using? The, uh, 12 amp, what, what, what the extreme ones? Mantis. Mantis, Mantis ESCs. Um, but other than that, Jack, did a fantastic job on this. I don't think you guys understand how difficult it is to design a quad, um, start with CAD, to make sure all this works. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. You should be really proud of yourself. 
Well, look for Jack to finish up his uh, Vespula, or what, if you guys have a better name for it, please put it in the comments below. Um, and uh, look for Jack to come out with uh, his quad here in the next couple weeks, hopefully. Yeah. And are you going to release these plans to the public? Probably. Okay, so uh, let's hope he does. We love to share our design and our work, uh, but it is, it is there. So, Jack, great work. And thanks for watching.